months ago, I was with my nephew of six years old in a restaurant. We ordered food and a bottle of still water to drink. While he was enjoying his french fries, he asked, Kitty, why do you buy a bottle of water where there is water freely available from the tap? Honestly, I did not know what to answer. Because, in fact, he is right. We live in the Netherlands, and of course there is clean water. Delicious, clean water from the tap that we can drink safely. We take this so much for granted that we simply forget how special this is. Even in a restaurant, we prefer a bottle of water instead of the water from the tap. While the water from the tap is 500 times less expensive and has at least equal quality and purity as the water from the bottle. My nephew, with his simple question, made me realize that this is not something to take for granted, that this is something we should be very proud of. Worldwide, there are 800 million people that don't have access to clean water. Every single minute, two people die because they lack clean water. That means that in the eight minutes that I will give this talk, 16 people will die. And looking at you, the audience of 100 people, you probably now also realize that it will take only 50 minutes for you all to die. That is the reality. That is the crude reality we live in. But we can change this. Moreover, we have the responsibility to change this. If we together have the will and the ambition to do so, we can provide everyone with <coughs> clean water. This is not a dream, as the technology is already available. With membranes, we can purify water. A membrane is a filter, a sieve. It has very little holes, called pores, and only very small particles can pass the pores, while the bigger, pore, bigger particles are simply retained by the membrane just like the sieves at home in our kitchen. Our own body is full of membranes, our kidneys, our lungs, and every single cell in our body is covered with a cell membrane. If I would take all the membranes from my body and I would place them on the ground in front of me, I would cover a full soccer field. The membranes in my body are natural membranes, but we can also make artificial membranes. This is such an artificial membrane. It is made of plastic. This is the plastic this membrane is made of. This plastic is soluble in some solvents, but it doesn't dissolve in water. It hates water. To make a membrane from this plastic, I first dissolve it in a solvent to make a plastic solution. That's what you see here. Then, I take this mold and I place it on a glass plate. And this mold has a very tiny slit here at this side. Now, I put the plastic solution in the mold. And I draw the mold over the glass plate. What remains, as you can see, is a very thin film of the plastic solution on the glass plate. Now remember, the plastic hates the water. So see what happens when we put it in water. our membrane. <laughs> the 
It is that simple to make membranes. If I would look at this membrane with a very strong microscope, I would see the picture that appears behind me. The gray area is the plastic, the material the membrane is made of. The black spots are the very tiny little holes in the membrane. This membrane we can use to purify water, and I will show you that it works. You can imagine that depending on the mold that I use, I can make membranes in all different shapes. I can also make membranes in the form of a hollow straw. That's what you see here. This is a hollow straw, and the wall of the straw is the actual membrane. It contains the pores. Now, I clamp the membrane to close its end. Here, I have a glass of dirty water. It comes from the ditch just behind this building. I'm sure that if you would have the chance or the choice, that you would not drink it. At least, I wouldn't. I take some of the water, and with this syringe, I push it through the inner side of the hollow straw and see what happens. Fresh water appears at the outside of the hollow straw. Delicious, fresh water produced with membranes. Fresh water that you can drink. Every time I do this, I'm touched by the beauty and the simplicity of this process. Of course, what happens is that the, only the clean water can pass through the little pores in the membrane wall, from the inside of the hollow straw to the outside. All the pollution, all the fouling that is present in the dirty water cannot pass the pores because it's simply too big to pass the pores. It is retained at the inner side of the hollow straw. You can imagine that every now and then we have to clean the inner side of the membrane to remove all the fouling and pollutants. And depending on the quality of the water that we treat, after about five years or so, we have to replace the membranes. You can imagine that with one single straw, I cannot provide everyone with clean water. But millions and millions of such straws can be produced and are produced nowadays into such big membrane modules. In fact, the cities of Minneapolis in the US or Moscow in Russia, they get their drinking water with such membranes. The membrane plants installed in these cities each produce 250,000 liters of water every day. It is common practice in many industrialized and developed countries. Clean water for everyone is not a dream. With membranes, it can become reality. I have a big fan, my nephew. He also understands how simple it is to produce clean water. Moreover, more than ever before, he and I enjoy the fresh water from the tap. If we, together, believe that everyone on our planet has the right to have access to clean water, let us inspire world leaders, politicians, businessmen and other people to take their responsibility and make it happen. Clean water for everyone. <laughs>